Today we're going to talk about how you can work with Light Tracer to create things like glass and at the same time we'll talk about how you can get a 50% promo code just in case you want to purchase the software the minute it's out. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Light Tracer and today we're looking at how you can render glass. So we've talked about how you can render a couple of things on the channel. We've also gone through how you can work with Light Tracer, all of the basic things that you need to know. But today we're specifically looking at glass as it's one of those things that would probably take you some time to render. Now there is just about two things you need to understand before you start making or you know rendering glasses and we're going to take a look at all those things. Meanwhile the model which we're working with right now is a model that is presently available on QBrush for free so in case you want to get this light bulb model you can go over to QBrush and get it. Link for this is going to be in the description just in case you want. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and exported this directly from Blender and we're sending it over to Light Tracer. Now we've also talked about Light Tracer as a software being available online. So in case you want to, you know, do the rendering, all of your GPU rendering online, you can choose to go over to lighttracer.org and then you can leverage of the online version that is available. Now you can see that it's running based on the GPU that we have and presently we're using the Nvidia Quadro RTX 5000 which is pretty pretty cool so one of the updates to the announcements that we made before was the beta trial for the light tracer was expected to end by the 1st of march 2020 when the you know the main software is going to be released but then i've been in talks with the developers at light tracer and right now there is an extension for the beta which is going to last all the way to 8th of march 2020 so in case you want to get this there is still a huge time for you to get it from the moment this video drops till when you'll be able to get it and if you're planning on getting the full version when this product drops there is going to be a 15 percent promo code which i'm going to put in the description and also at the end of the video so just simply stick around to get that at the same time you can go over to their instagram account and see a couple of things that's been rendered with this tool and probably you're going to find it very interesting to work with and if you have renders that you've done and maybe renders you want them to feature on their page you can go through and you know simply post that with using the try ltr hashtag and with this they'll be able to share this on their social media account like this and you probably get featured so with that out of the way let's talk about glass so i have this model here and actually i think i need to go through and bring everything back in so just give me a moment to clean this up so with our light bulb here what we're going to do is just simply create a floor and simply select a you know a square floor so we can get these beautiful shadows here right now next thing which you have to do is you can now go over to the material editor and you'll be able to start playing with these things by changing the material forms and seeing how you can work with them right now we need this to become metal so what i can do is if i want to work with gloss of course i can start increasing that metal just to get that if i want to work with metal of course i can just move this and from here i would be able to change the roughness value of what i want to get at the same time it is also worth knowing that when you're working on the web version of light tracer that there are certain things that you may not be privileged to get so for this one you can choose to actually start making edits like this or you can simply choose to select any part of this model go over to the library and just simply click and get that there all right so we can do that for here as well you can click and get that directly there and for this we can also switch this to clear glass and because we want to hide this so we can you know work inside there i'm just going to click here to get this out of the way this is also going to be glass and probably this is going to be an emissive object so for this emissive object i can come here and simply make this emissive let's also select these other parts now once we let our mouse go you now see that we have a rendering occurring directly in our background all right so this by default looks clean all right it looks really really nice it's something you want to show off it's something you want to work with right but then you may want to get this to look more like glass so the first thing that you need to note that actually makes your object look like glass is the index of refraction all right so if i come over here you can now see we have an ior which is set to 1.5 this matters a lot so your index of refraction is the first thing that you need to consider before you start converting or before you start expecting any of your surfaces to look like glass the next thing which you need to also consider 
is your sample so when you're rendering stuff and you don't give enough samples to your object you might probably not be able to see these things properly so in our case which is a case of glass so because we have our maximum sample at three you can now see what we have you could choose to actually make this bigger or smaller depending on the results which you want to get at the end of the day so for this one i'm just going to go all the way and set this to five and by just simply setting this to five you can now see that we're beginning to get something that looks way closer to the glass that we're going for so i'm also going to go ahead and just simply set this all the way to eight and by that you can now start seeing that we're having a much more glass looking object happening here so what i would do now is i will go through and actually move our lights around so you can see our lights here by default and in case you're wondering how we set this light up what we did is just simply come over here all right directly here where you have the light source click on distant light and you would notice our light is somewhere far away so this controls the light vertically all right so you can see that here while this on the other hand controls the light horizontally so you can use these to actually control the light you know the way you want so just in case you want to get something like this you will probably you know use this to get that at the same time we can use this to actually increase or reduce how much of this stuff we want so you can still use this to increase the cutoff or should i say the fov angle of your you know of your light so you can use this to increase that and this is responsible for the color so just in case you're wondering how we got that light working earlier this is exactly how we did it so with this right now you can start seeing that we're beginning to have that glass i kind of think that this is a little bit too much so i'm just going to dial this a little bit down and at the same time i'm going to select this and let's go all the way and with that done i'm just going to simply rotate our background so it fits or matches what we want and you can start seeing that we're beginning to have our glass directly how we want it now depending on what you want you can definitely go back into your material and start making some slight changes like from here we can choose to say we want this to actually absorb more white than black so if we set this to black it absorb more black but if we want this to absorb more white we can do all of that there the absorption coefficient actually deals with how much of the absorption color kind of travels through this object all right so depending on how much color you want to travel or how much of the absorption color all right that you want to travel through this object you can go ahead and make all those changes there so i think for this one we can also come here and definitely change this to something like that for red and we can also increase the power so that we can get something like this all right so with this done and ready to go let me just simply see what it looks like in the dark all right doesn't look bad at all at all all right so with this you know like this and ready to go you can actually start using this to create some very very interesting render so because we're using a gpu you can see that our render time is fast so something that would take you about you know two minutes three minutes to get done you can get this thing done in seconds by using a very simple light and easy to use tool like this now getting to what you guys would be able to get at this point we have come into some sort of agreement with the guys at light tracer and it is this if you want to get light tracer right now you would be able to get light tracer with 15 percent promo code for every person that is a subscriber on ask nk so the promo code for getting the 15 percent is ask nk all you need to do is go over to light tracer and get this now the promo actually runs from the 2nd of march all the way to the 10th of march 2020 so in case you want to get this tool right now and you want to work with it save the date in the calendar so you don't miss this out and that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to work with a ray tracing engine that actually gives you very realistic and fast rendering without you know stressing your cpu and without spending so much buck trying to get the software then probably this software is for you so you can choose to use the promo code to get 15 percent off or you can simply you know use the web version either ways it's a win-win situation for anyone who wants to work with this tool at the same time it's worth knowing that a very fast and you know easy to use tool like this is coming at this price range so some of the features which you don't get for the web version is like native performance the ai denoising does not come with the web version the cat import so in case you want to import your step files or you want to import your igs files you cannot get that custom you know backplate does not also is not also supported for the web version and at the same time you do not have the mesh healing or the scene inspector so these are some trade-offs which you have to give 
if you want to use the web version. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And if you like this video, you learned something from it, then go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's definitely going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.